Hi everyone, so today I'm just going to do a quick review on how you can tell whether an acid-base reaction proceeds forward or not. So many of us have seen this reaction before, HCl plus water, and we've heard that it disassociates into a hydronium ion with one lone pair. It's positively charged. You can check the formal charge and Cl minus. Okay, so <clears throat> how can we tell, you know, this isn't really just a forward reaction. It's really an equilibrium. So how can we tell which is favored in this reaction? Well, the first thing you do is identify, oh, if I spell that wrong, identify the acids. And what I mean by this is acid and conjugate acid. So which one is an acid each direction? And generally, we can go by the Brunson Lowry definition for this, which means is it generating a proton, essentially. So if it's donating or able to donate a proton, then that's going to be the acid. And the other way you can check is if you already have the reaction written out like this. This goes from HCl to Cl. So it's lost a hydrogen, but the lone pair stayed behind. I forgot to draw that last lone pair there. So that indicates that this has donated a proton to something else. So this is our acid, and this is our base. The water is a base, which is weird. A lot of times I think we try to think of bases as, you know, OH minus, but really a base is anything that accepts a proton, and an acid is anything that donates a proton. Okay, but then we're looking for our conjugate acid and our conjugate base. So one way to think of that is your base goes to, so we're identifying our acid and our conjugate acid. Our acid goes to a conjugate base, and our base goes to a conjugate acid. So here, we have our base, and that's going to the conjugate acid. This starts as water, it gains a proton, and this is our conjugate acid. This acid will go to the conjugate base. So it's Cl, it loses a proton, it becomes Cl minus, this is our conjugate base. And a way that may be easier to look at that is if you think about the if the reaction went this way, if it proceeded in the opposite direction, then this H3O plus is actually losing a proton. So it's donating a proton when it goes from H3O plus to water. So if you had this reaction written backwards, what would be the acid? That's the conjugate acid. However, it is easier for you to think about it, it is great. So once you've identified the acids, you can use those to determine if the reaction will be the reactants or the products. So what you need to do is put the pKa of each acid. So that acid and the conjugate acid. And that usually means you need to have memorized the pKa's of many things. So hopefully you have those in your mind. But HCl, that acid is negative eight. And the conjugate acid, H3O plus, is negative 1.7. And then the last thing is react reactions favor weaker acids. So the side that's going to be the weaker acid in this case, this is the weaker acid because it's a less negative number. It's less acidic. It has a larger pKa then the reaction is going to proceed forward. It's going to favor the products. Okay, now let's do the same thing with another reaction. Sorry, my printer printed out some weird stuff. So you can kind of see that at the top. Okay, so now let's consider this reaction. This is a lot less familiar to you, so it might be harder for you to know just off the top of your head. There's a carbon in there. If this reaction is gonna proceed forward or not. Also, it would be helpful if you're not great with your arrows, you can practice your arrows. If this reaction proceeded forward and go like this, and these would be the products. Carbon, carbon with a lone pair, and then So if these are the products, the question is which one of these is going to be favored? Our first step, identify the acids. 
So this is the one losing the proton. So this is the acid. That means this is the base. It's gaining a proton, which means base goes to conjugate acid. So this is the conjugate acid. So this is our acid base. And this is our conjugate base and conjugate acid. So if the reaction were to proceed this way, this loses the proton. The reaction were to proceed this way, this loses the proton. So then we're trying to figure out which, which way is the reaction going to proceed. <clears throat> is it going to favor this side or favor this side? So we've identified our acids. The next step is to put pKa next to them. So this is Hopefully you have it memorized. The pKa of a proton off of a carbon-carbon triple bond is 25. So alkynes 25, alkenes 45, and alkane is 50. Um, I just have those kind of stacked up in my brain. And then the pKa of the conjugate acid, I don't know if I have this one off the top of my head. I think it's around maybe negative... I think I've written down. Oh, it's nine. <laughs> that was very wrong. Not negative at all. See, and if you had this on an exam, it would be way easier to do this problem if you knew that pK off the top of your head. So the conjugate acid is 9.25. So between these two, it's going to favor the weaker acid. The weaker acid is the bigger acid, or the bigger pKa, I mean. So the bigger pKa is going to be weaker acid, which means we're going to favor this side. So if you were drawing that reaction out the way it's going to proceed, these will actually be the reactants. And this lone pair will come over and steal a proton. That bond will break and leave a lone pair behind. And you'll end up with this side favored. And that makes sense because these are both more stable compounds. So that's how you're going to address a problem like this. If it asks, will this reaction proceed forward or what's the favored side of the reaction? I go through these steps. I identify the acids, acid and conjugate acid. I used to get so confused because I'd put the acid pK and the base pK and I'd be all kinds of last. You don't have to do that. Identify the acids, put their pKa's, and compare the pKa's of only the acids, and then you'll know which side of the reaction is favored. Well, I hope that was helpful to you guys. And if you have any more questions, feel free to comment or email me. And